Hey guys, Rainer and Shades here, exercising my first memoir rights vlog style. Now you guys know I'm not one to get too personal on this channel, but this video is not as personal as some of my others. In this video, I'm going to be reaching out to you, the viewer, for some advice and tips and whatnot, since I'm kind of ignorant on this topic. If I weren't, this wouldn't be a problem, let's put it that way. Now as most of you know, I listen to music on... This 160 gigabyte iPod Classic, it's one of my most precious possessions, and I've had it since about 2010, when my music collection was growing at much too fast of a rate to continue putting it on the iPod Touch that I had at the time. I use the Classic because it's the only iPod that I know of with this high of a capacity. I listen to a lot of music and take notice of bands and albums almost daily. That's just one example of how passionate about music I am and it really shows. As far back as when I started downloading music when, at the time, I listened to it on that stupid-ass iPod Shuffle that didn't have a fucking screen that was out at the time, downloading music to listen to has been something I've enjoyed doing for many years. The best way I can describe my situation with iPods here is that as technology was advancing and growing, so was my music collection. I've talked before about how much my music taste and collection has grown since I was 12. It's about a decade later after I first loaded the Beatles 1 album that I talked about in the What's Wrong With I did on them into my iTunes. Currently, I have over 24,000 items in my iTunes library, and the most recent thing I've downloaded is Being As An Ocean's self-titled album that came out this past year. Now, as you can probably tell, not all of the music in here fits on my iPod. I've had to make quite a few sacrifices, ranging from taking some of the really long songs, such as 2112 by Rush off, to stuff that I didn't think I'd care if I took off, most of which was thrash metal and new wave, which is not to say that I dislike thrash metal and new wave now, by no means is that the case. There's just a lot of stuff in there that I chose to take off my iPod to make room for other stuff that I didn't think I'd miss as much. My music collection is constantly growing, so you can only imagine how many times I've had to go through this procedure. It's annoying, it makes me upset, and it also makes me fearful. Pretty soon, I'm gonna get to a point where there's not gonna be anything I wanna take off anymore. So I'm kind of between a rock and a hard place here. This is when I start to lament about how dumb it is that Apple is discontinuing the iPod Classic. There's nothing I'd love more than if Apple came out with an iPod with an even bigger capacity than 160 gigabytes, or even an iPhone with that kind of a capacity. I already don't put music on my phone because I have way too much music to fit on there, along with apps, photos, some video, and notes. So if Apple came out with a phone that could fit all of that on it, it would need to be a giant number of gigabytes. Do you know how excited I would be if they announced that? I'll explain my dream iPod slash iPhone in this little math equation meme I made. Classic squared plus iPhone equals happy shades. I've also wondered if there was a way to add memory to the classic. Whether Apple condoned it or not, I've always wondered if there was a way that could be done as well. Because there's just something about buying or downloading music either from CD, the iTunes Store, Bandcamp, or even torrenting if the album was out of print, and syncing it onto my iPod that I just don't know if any other method could replace. One other thing I love doing that I usually do in the summer is turn my entire playlist on shuffle. Call me a nerd, but I just love the feeling of not knowing what to expect next, as well as the crazy turns the shuffle takes me on since my collection is so buried. Is there anything that can replicate that? I have no idea why Apple decided to discontinue the classic, and I really wish they would bring it back. I know people these days listen to music on their phones, but how does one fit a collection like mine all onto a phone? This is where I'm reaching out to you, the viewer. Does the answer lie on Spotify or Apple Music? Does the answer lie in cloud storage? I've never been properly educated on either of those things, so I've never been sure if I was going to have to transition to streaming music as opposed to collecting it. Is it even going to be the same? I just don't know. Explain this like you'd explain it to a six-year-old, because I know nothing about Spotify or Apple Music, and nothing about cloud storage. Please give me any advice, ideas, or words of encouragement that you can, because I honestly feel desperate when it comes to this, I'm not gonna lie. Please let me know. What's a music fan to do at a time like this? I'm Shades, and I'll see you next time.